What's up my viewers, welcome back to the channel, pleasant good morning, pleasant good morning to each and every subscribers on the channel and all the new viewers who are coming this morning for view what is happening. So, pleasant Sunday morning to each and everybody. But right now, quick and fast, we don't have a up no time. We just want to say like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell when you subscribe. So, you'll be amongst the first to be updated whenever a new video is drop so sunday morning the happenings never stop we still give you the updates right you so we say nswma crew escape with minor little scrapes after chuck plunges into the rear cobra a government owned garbage truck with five workers aboard plunge into the rear cobra near the flat bridge in saint catching this evening however with the help of the community divers the workers were able to be free themselves and swim to safety luckily they escaped with minor little scratches said Ardley garden the exclusive director of the national solid waste management authority the incident reportedly happened around nine o'clock the workers are employed to the metropolitan park and market a subsidiary of the NW the NSWA Garden said the truck was traveling in the Bagua Gorge on its way to Linston in St. Catching for a night collection when the incident happened. He said the driver of the truck swerved to avoid collision with another vehicle. However, the garbage truck compactor reportedly developed a skid and crash into a wall before going over the precipice and plunge into the river. Garden said efforts are now on the way to remove the vehicle that remains partially submerged. So we have to really say luckily to them people because they don't know the happenings are going on. Bagua Gorge is a river like this, you know. When it's thirsty, thirsty, you know. When it want water for drink, you know. It drink your cup of water fast. So anyway, my viewers, drop some comment down, down in the comment section. So right now, my viewers, update. Pan and a kins and a clappings. 22-year-old KFC delivery man can up in Santa Cruz. Police in Santa Cruz have confirmed that a 22-year-old KFC delivery man was gunned down and caught driving Santa Cruz on Saturday evening. Reports say the fast food delivery man was conned up a couple of times in the head. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police Superintendent Dwight Daly said about 7.40 p.m. the man was traveling or should I say was delivering some fast food to a location when he was knocked by some gunmen. He went to deliver KFC and as he reached to the spot, loud explosion were heard. It seems as though he was target, Daly said. We are appealing to anyone with information to call the Santa Cruz Police Station at 876-966-2289-119-311 or the nearest police station to you, he added. Yes, my viewers, we get the videos, them, you know. Yeah, man, we get some videos of the happenings, man. And we kind of have some information, and we really go on, my viewers, but that is for another upload. So if you want to hear that one day, all you have to do is stay tuned. Yeah man, make sure so you stay tuned, subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. So you will get the video there whenever I drop a little bit from this. So my viewers, we continue. So my viewers, you know say in spite of the SOE, and right now we not even know really are going for the SOE, but they should be or should not be a continuation of the SOE. We're not sure as yet. But police have imposed nightly curfew in sections of St. Catherine. There's a nightly curfew have been imposed in several sections of St. Catherine by the police, which began on Friday, June the 24th, 
and will remain in effect until July the 1st. According to the Jamaica Constable Force JCF, the curfew operations are being carried out in Tarspen, El Chapin, 31 St. John's Road in Spanish Town Central Village and Gregory Park. They will run from 8 p.m. until 5 o'clock the following morning each day ending at 5 a.m. on Friday, July the 1st. The curfew are pursuant to the relation to 21 emergency power Parish of St. Catherine No. 3 Regulation 2022 Act, the JCF said. The boundaries of the operation in Tospen and El Chapin are north along St. John's and William Street from the intersection with Spanish Town Bypass to the intersection with Young Street south along Spanish Town Bypass from the intersection with Marchpen Road to the Old Arbor Road. East along Young Street, March Penn Road, from the intersection with William Street to the intersection with Spanish Town Bypass and West continue along Spanish Town Bypass, from Old Arbor Road, Roundabout, to the intersection to St. John's Road. The boundaries in the area of 31 St. John's Road are not along St. John's Road, William Street, from the intersection with Spanish Town Bypass the intersection of Young Street. Some of you guys don't know when the curfew them drop on them like a thing there. The people them can't really move unless authorized by a ground commander. So anyway, my viewers, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe, drop some comment in the comment section.